This is Echo TV, Kenya. This is Echo TV, Kenya. And welcome to Echo TV. This is Politics 101. Today, in our show, we have a very wonderful, very wonderful guest. We have the MC, aspiring MCA, Kasarani Ward. And also we have a political analyst political influencer i don't know how he has a lot of to a lot of titles i'll be your host at tyra edition maybe if i start from my right introduction your name okay my name is donesia njeri njage <coughs> aka gasheri kega mca aspirant kasarani what thank you and <coughs> my name is samuro dirango aka some gigs <laughs> okay many people are asking who is gasheri Okay, Gasheri is a, a woman, a mother, a mm. wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's her, a business lady too. Why Gasheri for MCA? Why Gasheri for MCA is that I feel that being the leader that I am, mm -hmm. I feel that you can have mm -hmm. a great Kasarani, that is the Kasarani word. Mm -hmm. with my people okay let me if i come back to you you've been in in a political arena for a lot of for many times for a lot of years oh, from two or five yeah. you've been in different coalitions yeah. uh it's reported like uh last generation you supported another coalition yeah. this time i know you are wearing a, di a different coalition why no we go according to the way things are Mm -hmm. That is one thing. Mm -hmm. As time we were supporting Jubilee, mm -hmm. and we were supporting Jubilee with the purpose. Mm -hmm. And even this time, mm -hmm. when you come back to the, we need these 27, 22 elections. Mm -hmm. We have not, we are not here. To, we are not here to make a decision. Mm -hmm. But according to the way things are, mm -hmm. you know where we are going. <laughs> you know and where. There's a reason. Okay. There's a reason mm -hmm. because me, I always say, mm -hmm. people call it tribal. Mm -hmm. as not mm -hmm. but when you see the other the other groups mm -hmm. the groupings according mm -hmm. to the politics mm -hmm. the groupings if you see the, like the uda mm -hmm. you can say it's being aligning with carriages mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that is true mm -hmm. when you go to ud to odm mm -hmm. they are in the same with the rules mm -hmm. when you go to wiper mm -hmm. the same with the covers mm -hmm. so but when you come to kikuyu mm -hmm. when you start saying things mm -hmm. we have been told we are tribal Mm -hmm. That is why me I'm aligning with the Jubilee. Mm -hmm. If there, there is going to be a discussion, mm -hmm. let us discuss us as a Jubilee. Mm -hmm. Then if you are going to other correlations, mm -hmm. then they will. We'll okay, Le, let, me, let me come to the topic, dynasty and hustle. What is the, uh, the dynasty? That, because we, you leaders, you came up with dynasty and hustle. What is the, what is the, you know, the difference? I feel that the term dynasty means that these are people who get who get to get their parents with things. Eh? Mm -hmm. So it's like you are being pump, you've been pampered. Mm -hmm. You know, like I let me just use myself. I met my dad mm -hmm. with things that is wealth. Mm -hmm. So I just come in and be mm -hmm. take over his mm -hmm. wealth. Mm -hmm. But for the hustler, mm -hmm. we mean that you've worked very hard to mm -hmm. get what you have. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. so like. My dad has it, mm -hmm. but for me, I've gone out of my way to mm -hmm. get my own, mm -hmm. 
things. So that is what we're calling hustle. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait for your parents or mm -hmm. those people in your family mm -hmm. who are wealthy to support you. Mm -hmm. Go work, mm -hmm. get your hustle. Mm -hmm. What What about the dynasty? <coughs> what I can say, according to, I'm not going to refer to her. Mm -hmm. Me, what I know, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. what I see, mm -hmm. dynasty and hustle, mm -hmm. those are political narratives. Mm -hmm. They are being used mm -hmm. by readers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you comes to, as you as he says, mm -hmm. at the dynasty, those people have been pampered, mm -hmm. eh? and hustlers. There are those who don't have, mm -hmm. but they want it. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. But if I can ask Indonesia, if today mm -hmm. she is called a hustler, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. what about tomorrow? Mm -hmm. If you get what you, eh? what you are aspiring to be, mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. You are aspiring to be an MCA as mm -hmm. an hustler. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Next election, mm -hmm. 2027, mm -hmm. who do you be? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because you'll be an MCA, mm -hmm. you'll be having cash, mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. you'll be called a dynasty. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, mm -hmm. those are political narratives mm -hmm. which are being used to win election. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Because one thing, mm -hmm. referring to, to, to a hustler, mm -hmm. the person who is pushing it is Ruto. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. Him himself calling him a hustler. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. One thing, mm -hmm. he became a billionaire when he was uh, 21 years. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Those time of YK 92. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. But here you have come and you have analyzed mm -hmm. these people, yeah, they are poor. Mm -hmm. Because they are poor, they are people who are not educated. Mm -hmm. It's true. True, yeah? true. Those are the ones who are being called hustlers. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because mm -hmm. there is no way you can say I have it. Mm -hmm. Because according to the place I live, I live in Mweki. Mm -hmm. yeah? I will call myself a hustler, but maybe I'm a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Maybe if I, I can, I can um, again and ask you guys, yeah. do you think it is the right time we use the hustle and dynasty in this current situation no. in our country? No. Maybe I get from you first. Okay, I feel that it's not yet the right time, mm -hmm. but being that we are in politics, you have to align yourself. Mm -hmm. And being that, like my friend has just said that I'm aspiring to be an MCA in 2022. Mm -hmm. Come 2027, I'll be maybe a dynasty because I'll be having yeah. the resources of the world. Eh? Sure. Not that at the moment I don't have the resources because I say the little you have mm -hmm. is what is for you, mm -hmm. right? But that time I'll still be a hustler. Why? I did hustle for my mm -hmm. things, right? Mm -hmm. Like you just said that the DP got his ways when he was in YK in it too. Yeah. Not that he got these things from somebody. He just hustled his way out to get those billions that he got at that age. Mm -hmm. So even if you you work and get yourself the wealth at the moment, mm -hmm. that is not umekujo mm kapewa. -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You've worked. Mm -hmm. Then that is your hustle. Where, you just where, worked where, where do you categorize the DP in dynasty or the hustle nation? I Currently. say at the moment mm -hmm. he's a dynasty because he has the wealth, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But looking back mm -hmm. from the where he has come from, he mm -hmm. has hustled his way out. Okay, back to you. Do you think it's the right time to, not the right time. to use the dynasty? And not hustle? the right time. Mm -hmm. According to the way she, she have said, mm -hmm. she have said, no, she is aligning herself mm -hmm. with the hustler, mm -hmm. with the reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She have said that. She have said so, yeah? yeah yes. Now, Coming to what you have asked me, mm -hmm. according to the dynasty mm -hmm. and the Hasura, mm -hmm. I will tell Indonesia, at the moment, mm -hmm. it's not the right time to align herself with a party, mm -hmm. because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. somebody like Uhuru Kenyatta mm -hmm. and Delayla Odinga, mm -hmm. they have not started campaign yet. Mm -hmm. At that time, you'll come. Mm -hmm. Asking her, mm -hmm. now she is saying she's in Hasura nation, yeah? Mm -hmm. If tomorrow things change... I didn't say I'm mm -hmm. in the Hasura nation. <laughs> you are in hustle. <laughs> I did say so. I just explained what now, is hustle. At the moment, mm -hmm. you are running yourself mm -hmm. yeah, with UDA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if things change tomorrow, mm -hmm. she will shift. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, maybe she will get. We, See, we will ask her the, that question. They are, doing, they are mm -hmm. running themselves with a party, mm -hmm. yeah? thinking that tomorrow mm -hmm. the UDA mm -hmm. will be the popular party. Mm 
mm-hmm. in Kasarani. Mm-hmm. And if they are, when they are start com- campaigning, mm-hmm. things will change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, oh. the, this issue of dynasty and hustle, yeah. it was actually, if I'm not wrong, it was brought out by the BBI campaign. Mm-hmm. And last Friday, we saw the court uh, upholding the high court ruling. BBI was declared as null and void. And considering you are the, 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 dynasty. the dynasty, and the dynasty you are campaigning for the BBI, what Not is, what, what is Not your... Them. <laughs> okay, what is what is what was your perception after the high court? My perception after the high court, I can say, <laughs> one thing I was not happy mm-hmm. because me I had read BBI mm-hmm. and I have seen the mm-hmm. problems was coming to solve. Mm-hmm. Let me use some other terms, mm-hmm. or let me go back mm-hmm. to where the problem was. Mm-hmm. Ask you, mm-hmm. it is it's like we can say mm-hmm. here the cake is being baked here. It's mm-hmm. true, yeah. And what they do, when you are going to get that according to the revenue allocations mm-hmm. of the resources, mm-hmm. yeah, you get, mm-hmm. as like Mount Kenya, mm-hmm. we contribute a lot. Yeah, sure. That is, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But when you come to the, the other side, mm-hmm. our population is high. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But when the, the revenue is going is being allocated, mm-hmm. then we get, we are, it's, being, it's, it's being allocated according to the can you switch terms? Or you can, I can even use this way. Yes, 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 yes. I kusema hapa and nasema hivi. Si ate kusema siju lakini I want to press my point. Sasa mm-hmm. kutumia Kiingereza sana, mm-hmm. eh? We lose there. We lose the point. Sasa nilikuwa nasema hivi. Ukikuja kuangalia katika ile time ugawi wa holy sources mm-hmm. na gawa, eh? Unakuta ya kwamba sisi ni wengi. Mm-hmm. Kama juzi, na sisi ni wengi, mm-hmm. lakini maa hii ni niki kuja kugawa mm-hmm. hii resources, mm-hmm. inakuja tunakawa pa moja. Mm-hmm. Ni kama tuseme hivi, tukona mukate moja hapa. Mm-hmm. Ni kweli? Mm-hmm. Hapa pa kona watu wawiri, mm-hmm. eh? na tukona mukate wengine hapa na hapa pa kona watu watano. Sindio? Mm-hmm. Umu mukate moja tunapatia mtu moja. Mm-hmm. Watu wawiri, wanagawana. Mm-hmm. Si mtu wataget half half. Mm-hmm. Lakini unakuta sisi, tunapewa mukate tukua watu wangapi, watu watano. Mm-hmm. Comparing, like Kiebu County, mm-hmm. according to the BBI, mm-hmm. na ukienda pale kwa bunge, mm-hmm. wangalia kuligana na ugari mm-hmm. wa viti mm-hmm. kwa bunge. Mm-hmm. Ya, yeah? unakuta kama Kiebu, mm-hmm. we are 2.4 million. Mm-hmm. 2.4 million, mm-hmm. kuligana na bunge, mm-hmm. vile imeweka, hile pa kuota, mm-hmm. dini of allocation of revenue, unakuta each and every voter, kama ni huko, consistency, inastahili kuwe na 133 people. Mm-hmm wala watu wanastahili kukua kwa mm-hmm. constituency ni kweli yeah. ukichukua ile 2.4 mm-hmm. million mm-hmm. voters mm-hmm. ugawe na 133 mm-hmm. unakuta kiabu inastahili kukua na 18 counties mm-hmm. ni kweli yes. lakini currently mm-hmm. we are 12 mm-hmm. that is why BBI was adding 18 mm-hmm. ili ile pesa ikigawa mm-hmm. eh kila mtu ile wanasema one man one shilling one vote mm-hmm. kila mtu akuta kona ki Kona kitu. Lakini mm-hmm. umekuta hii mambo vile imefanywa. Mm-hmm. Unakuta kuna places zingine ziko na 45,000 people mm-hmm. wanapewa the same like kasarani mm-hmm. saa hii ya almost 700 mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Lakini ile pesa tutapewa, tutapewa kitu kama 106 million ile inapea nangu. Mm-hmm. Ukikawa hiyo pesa na ile ya basari ya tuwangu wa 30 million, ukuja ugawi ya wa 700, unakuta mutu wanapata basari ya elfu ngabi ya elfu mbili. Mm-hmm. Simtu kwa 700, mm-hmm. unakuta places zingine kama turukana wakona 48,000 people. Mm-hmm. Wanapewa the same, wana 36 million. Mm-hmm. Yo wana 36, niboza unakuta each and every student, mm-hmm. maybe he's, given, he's getting even 90,000. Mm-hmm. That is why to report na sema. The reason why I was supporting BBI, mm-hmm. niyo mambo ya revenue allocation, mm-hmm. a representative, mm-hmm. representation. Mm-hmm. Juu, hata tukisema kasarani megawa maratatu, mm-hmm. tutapata around 400 million. Mm-hmm. Let me, I'll, I'll come back to you later yeah. to continue. If uh, I come back, just immediately the court nullified the BBI. There is a legislator who was campaigning for anti-BBI and he came up to wrote to his social media that BBI was the best document but it was only uh, for a head or implement, uh, by, it was just given out by the wrong people. Why is it that you are as a the U, the UDA the hustler nation? Were you against the BBI just because it was being it was being presented by the yes, dynasty? Yes. No, 
that is a no because it mm-hmm. can't be that mm-hmm. it was because of representation by the bad people. There are no bad people in our country. Mm-hmm. All what is there is there are some clauses mm-hmm. that were not favoring the people. Mm-hmm. The BBI was good mm-hmm. because of the addition of the words, the constituencies and the, even the revenue allocation. Eh? Mm-hmm. It was very good and very perfect. Mm-hmm. But there are some small, small loops mm-hmm. that were bringing mm-hmm. controversies. Mm-hmm. And those are the things that like the DP mm-hmm. suggested, go amend this. And when you amend this, then mm-hmm. it will be good. Mm-hmm. The thing is, it was not brought to the people. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it was not brought to the people mm-hmm. to give their views. Mm-hmm. So it was done at the dynasty level. Mm-hmm. And this thing was, as it is adding positions, it was also creating positions there up. Mm-hmm. So you tell me, it's like, we want to have more seats. Mm-hmm. Bearing in mind that mm-hmm. the resources are scarce, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So the more people we get, the mm-hmm. more representatives we get, the mm-hmm. more we are going to pay f- for these slots. Just, right? just for for the sake of common mananchi, mm-hmm. that the BBI doc- document that a lot of the mananchi doesn't know why you people you are against the BBI. The, the closest that you say they were not favoring the BBI, maybe for the common mananchi they need to know because. We did the research that the common Mwananji has not got the BBI. What are those clauses that you say that it was not favoring Mwananji? The issue is all about the resources. Okay. We Mwananji mm-hmm. is being taxed, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. His taxes, Zinaenda Wapi, Kulipa, they are going to pay for these, mm-hmm. the, the MCs who are going to be added, the MPs, the, all those things. Eh? Mm-hmm. So you feel that at this time, mm-hmm. as let me call me, let me call myself as the Mwananchi, mm-hmm. we find that tunafinika sana, mm-hmm. bearing in mind that our economy is very low, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you'll find that he pesa tutagaramika zaidi, mm-hmm. kulipanini hizi garama, whereas hata we mwenyewe huwezi kujimudu. Mm-hmm. You see, mm-hmm. that is just one part of it. Mm-hmm. We kujimudu, and then you are being given some more tasks to mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, if let me now come back to you. After, as a political analyst now, after the BBI was nullified, what do you think will be the next thing to the dynasty nation? Now they are saying they will go to Supreme Court of which I can't support it right now. Mm-hmm. But what I can say, mm-hmm. according to the way he say, if just if I cor- cor- just rectify, yeah. the ODM chief say that they will not go to the Supreme Court, but the Attorney General has said they will go for that. One thing the Attorney General was afraid because <laughs> even if the way he say right now, he just want to push things to push things mm-hmm. so that they should not be seen. They failed. Mm-hmm. One thing they failed the president mm-hmm. because there is no way you can come from the High Court. Mm-hmm. Then we are going to the to the, the, Supreme. the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What I can say, mm-hmm. say two query. Mm-hmm. as he says, here kitu iriko ya kutengeneza ya watu vitu. Na hii ni Kenya, na tunawananga vile vitu zinaedanga. Mm-hmm. Uhuru ni vile tu ya lijamua, mm-hmm. yani ya face things, mm-hmm. yani vile nabuwa wa kuface the buru from, from the, by the horse. By the horse. Mm-hmm. Hii ni shida imekua. Mm-hmm. Na imekua hapo kutoka muanzo. Mm-hmm. Kenyada alikuja, aliretewa katiba na muzungu. Mm-hmm. Of which, it was to rule the minority. Mm-hmm. Because hiyo time watuku wa rengi. Nikweli, mm-hmm. nyayo waka kuja. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Na hile katiba alikuwa na, alikuwa na yo. Ikapingwa, 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 tukakuja hiyo 2010, tukawi, mm-hmm. tukaipata. Ni kweli? Mm-hmm. Lakini this, ile problem inakuwaka pale chini, haiko. Mm-hmm. Jui kitu tu ni ya minority. Mm-hmm. Ni kweli? Mm-hmm. Saidi umekuja 2030, hii tenu tunakuja 2022, mm-hmm. inaonekana. Dibu nasema, mm-hmm. it's not to say we are selfish, mm-hmm. we are talking about the fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Majorities of Kenyans, mm-hmm. nasi ya tiukabira ama nini, mm-hmm. yeah? ni wakikuyu. Mm-hmm. Wengi. That's mm-hmm. a fact. Mm-hmm. I'm not being tribal. Mm-hmm. We are talking about the fact. Mm-hmm. Juhu kama saa hii kama uko na kidonda, mm-hmm. lazima tufikie ile kitu nimeleta mm-hmm. hiyo kidonda. Mm-hmm. kidonda. Mm-hmm. Ni mm-hmm. So, kufikia hii shida mm-hmm. kama saa hii ukienda uongee na mtu ashai kuwa kwa bunge. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. People are like kina theory there my friend na wale akina Joro. Mm-hmm. Ukienda kupeleka musoanda mm-hmm. yoyote mm-hmm. inahusu kusaidia mkikuyu. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Wote wanajaanga bunge waiangushe. Mm-hmm. Ngona 
Kama zaidi tunasema atatsa hii BBI juu imeanguka tutapitia bunge. Haiwezi mm-hmm. pita. Maana juu kama vile walikuwa Senate, they tried 11 times. Ikife, tuboza uhuru akakuja akaona waje tujaribu kupitishia kwa BBI. Unaona? Na the reason why kitu ya kwanza hivi tunasema BBI yenyewe iko lakini watu hawajasoma. Na wale hawajasoma hata kama wale walikuwa walikuwa wapelekee hawakuwapatia hiyo chance walienda kupeleka propagandas. Jua kuna kitu mbaya mm-hmm. hata kwa siasa mm-hmm. vijana hata yanaelekea huko hakuna kitu mbaya kama propaganda mm-hmm. propaganda hii ni maongo mm-hmm. yanuru wangu haraka sana mm-hmm. sasa inaweza kuja hapa nidanganye kitu kuhusu mm-hmm. na nitoke mm-hmm. unaona watu watahami but then later mm-hmm. ana kujeka kulia rais mm-hmm. you know i can say that this was the best document ever mm-hmm. if people were given the chance mm-hmm. to read mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. away from propagandas mm-hmm. eh? because like the way you are saying The first person to tweet was Moses Kuria. Yes. And he wrote this document was very good everything everything but finally akasema lakini mambo ya Mount Kenya kupikaga keki alafu tunapea watu tunagaiwa kidogo mm-hmm. you have to revisit na si tafadhali. Mm-hmm. So huyo mtu wageda kuwabia watu huko mashinani. Hii mm-hmm. proper hii BBI imetuletia hii kitu ya kwanza mzuri. Mm-hmm. Lakini they went wakakapitalize na ile kidogo sana kuwabia watu hii kitu ni ya kutengeneza cheo mm-hmm. of which we had a prime minister mm-hmm. we had a deputy prime minister mm-hmm. we had all those nini ni, ni, ni kweli mm-hmm. na Kenya ile ile eh mm-hmm. lakini the event wana chukua ile kadini kadogo unaona mm-hmm. ndio wanauzia watu unaona mm-hmm. juu ukienda hata kama huko mashinani mm-hmm. ukienda kama mimi naenda huko Moranga ulize mtu hii BBI mnaiona haja hapana hii ni ya kutengenezea watu viti lakini ukimwambia the reason why we are adding MPs mm-hmm. in representation mm-hmm. juu nyinyi ni wengi sana mm-hmm. ni kweli mnahitaji munini mlipresentiwa hivi na hivi ni kweli mm-hmm. juu wale wengine it's just like that we are only advocating for status quo mm-hmm. let things be the way they are mm-hmm. we don't care okay okay maybe i'll come back to you later uh, bbi who stands to benefit after the court nullified because after immediately there are people who came up to write in their social media saying that uhuru with the president and the odm chief stands a bigger chance to benefit from after from the court nullifi, uh, court ruling Who, whom do you think we is stands a big chance to benefit i don't think there is anyone who is to benefit with it mm-hmm. because If it passes it is for the people and mm-hmm. like the dp said it's a win win thing mm-hmm. no one has lost no, ha- no one has won mm-hmm. because if let's say like you're saying uhuru and like naraira got it mm-hmm. then we could be having that the bbi is on right mm-hmm. with all those things not amended mm-hmm. <laughs> if it passed if it like it was nullified yeah? mm-hmm. we feel that there are some places mm-hmm. we feel that mekuwa sawa mm-hmm. because it was bringing this issue of like now the degrees mm-hmm. and you find that most people we yeah we are aspiring yes but mm-hmm. you didn't have that chance to go to the university to get a degree mm-hmm. so if it has passed mm-hmm. we could have felt that like me myself mm-hmm. i don't have a degree mm-hmm. so i was feeling that i'm going to be cut mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but now that it has been nullified mm-hmm. we feel that we have some hope mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so i feel that this is a win win thing no one has failed no one has won mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. uh in your first remark you talked about tribal things yeah. do you think that this is the best time kenyans needs to align themselves according to tribal according to tribal how maybe your- from the parties the, or the the voting system we vote according to tribal this means for example if you are a kikuyu yeah. you vote for a kikuyu and if you are luo you vote for a luo do you think it's the best time kenyans should do that it's not the best time mm-hmm. but kenyans is kenyans mm-hmm. okay? they might align themselves with something mm-hmm. that is why they are coming up with parties mm-hmm. like you see now we have jubilees mm-hmm. we have got odms mm-hmm. we have got wipers mm-hmm. and the other parties like tsp mm-hmm. each chama ya moses kuria mm-hmm. okay. mm-hmm. they are not there yani kutoka pahali wako tuseme ni kama mauti kenya unaona mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kuna different parties unaona mm-hmm. 
lakini mm-hmm. agenda ni mo, mm-hmm. ni moja mm-hmm. ya queen election mm-hmm. nothing nothing more mm-hmm. because even if you come and tell me now mm-hmm. that we are doing a coalition even mm-hmm. luto himself mm-hmm. you know politicians are liars <laughs> yeah and what they do they are cheating mm-hmm. because even if me even if me are now I'm contesting mm-hmm. for nini for a chair or mm-hmm. for a seat mm-hmm. what I will do I will cheat people mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I will tell them this is a rule ni wabaya mm-hmm. hawa ni wakamba ni watu hivi unaona mm-hmm. lakini ile kitu tu nataka kufikia tu pale nikianza ni sori yako mm-hmm. niambie si mara si si time mzuri ya kuongelea mambo ya ukabila mm-hmm. ukabila Kenya mm-hmm. haiwezi isha mm-hmm. that is one thing mm-hmm. haiwezi isha Mm-hmm. Na kujanga kulibaiwa ile time tu ya elections. Mm-hmm. Tukizi vizuri I can go to Kisumu. Mm-hmm. We marry there. Mm-hmm. Tuna have our celebrations. Mm-hmm. But when we come to elections, mm-hmm. at the time we start saying hey, I'm a Kikuyu, mm-hmm. I'm a Ruo because I want to align myself with Raila. Mm-hmm. I want to align myself with that. Mm-hmm. with Uhuru mm-hmm. and Narutos. No, no. Mm-hmm. But the only, the only thing there and what they are after. Mm-hmm. They are after winning election. Mm-hmm. Because when they go back to parliament mm-hmm. they just say hey, mine was hard mine was this i used this way, i used this way. Oh, no. so politicians themselves mm-hmm. they are the one who bring to a boys mm-hmm. they are the one who bring tribalism mm-hmm. in us mm-hmm. as we live well but when you come to elections at the time you start knowing you you are a duo you are like you yeah. so this is not the best time yeah. to talk about tribal parties mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. if the bbi could have passed and it had so so those things mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. that could be my joy mm-hmm. yeah. uh, if i come back to you once again the the bottom up narrative common mwananchi want to understand your people want to understand the bottom up eco- economy what is that okay before answering that let me let me just on about the tribalism eh? mm-hmm. you asked about whether this is the right time for being tribal or not mm-hmm. i feel there's no right time mm-hmm. for people to be tribal mm-hmm. there's no that right time that let it be 2022 2027 or anything mm-hmm. i feel like as a country we need to have that harmony Mm-hmm. for the betterment of our country mm-hmm. because the moment now i start seeing you like a ru i start seeing some gigs maybe like a um, kamba or mm-hmm. the other person that it is going to create some disharmony mm-hmm. and that will bring mm-hmm. chaos mm-hmm. Yeah. so if we have that harmony and even us as the aspirants or as leaders we need mm-hmm. to work together mm-hmm. then we have the issue of uh, you talked of bottom up economy the bottom up economy yes all i understand about it, the bottom up economy is you are able to lift this the common monarchy mm-hmm. raising that person from mm-hmm. down mm-hmm. getting them to a position that they can be able to stand for themselves mm-hmm. all i know is that our country has so much mm-hmm. so much money so much many many resources mm-hmm. but the issue is how do we use these resources mm-hmm. you find that now we have like the bbi mm-hmm. There was so much money that had been allocated for BBI mm-hmm. and there's that much money that was used for the BBI. Mm-hmm. If this money was given back mm-hmm. to the mwananchi tungekuwa mm-hmm. mbali. Mm-hmm. And we couldn't be having these complaints like hatuna, tunataka mm-hmm. all those mm-hmm. things because the moment you give me like 5000 mm-hmm. and I have a right mind, mm-hmm. I want to do maybe a business of selling smokies or eggs. Mm-hmm. With this 5000 I'd be able to buy the smokies and the eggs and mm-hmm. sell. I'll mm-hmm. make my profit from that, mm-hmm. right? Maybe I'll come back to you again once later. Let me hear from his side. Uh the the hustle nation hmm? has the bottom up economy. Most people are asking or a lot of Kenyans are asking what the dynasty nation are doing they are campaigning against the bottom up economy but they don't have their their own strategy what is the narrative of the because them they are having they are coming up with the bottom up economy what is the the dynasty nation narrative one thing what i can say about bottom up economy no i'm just not asking about the bottom up economy mm-hmm. i'm asking the dynasty mm-hmm. narrative as we are talking about trickling down Mm-hmm. Yeah? But what we can say mm-hmm. the devolution mm-hmm. yeah, have addressed these things mm-hmm. because even when they are saying about bottom up mm-hmm. 
what I can say is that they are just coming up with something to confuse people. Mm-hmm. Because when you go to a common manager trying to explain to him what is a bottom up, mm-hmm. what I think bottom up, mm-hmm. that is a is a way of, that is hard out. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Like the way I can come here and give you five thousand shillings, mm-hmm. I tell you to start a business. Mm-hmm. If I ask you in life, mm-hmm. maybe you have ever got maybe even ten thousand. Mm-hmm. What did you did with it? Mm-hmm. But they are bringing about hard out. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You go there, come here, I give you five thousand. You mm-hmm. can do this. Mm-hmm. Now come in to tell me mm-hmm. that you are going to give, you are going to give each and everybody money. Mm-hmm. There is there is no money which will ever be allocated by the government mm-hmm. to give people mm-hmm. unless there is a disaster. Mm-hmm. That is true. And here there is a disaster. <laughs> At the time you can come and tell me, mm-hmm. you have this, you are going to give people. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And the way, if you mm-hmm. come and tell somebody, mm-hmm. stop working now, mm-hmm. we are now in September. Mm-hmm. Stop working. Mm-hmm. By December, mm-hmm. I will give you 100,000. Mm-hmm. I will listen to you and follow mm-hmm. you. Okay, maybe if I, I do a follow-up question. Yeah. You say that your narrative is trickled down. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference or the, the, the another way you people you are coming up because we've been operating under the trickle-down economy from through devolution through devolution yeah. what are you trying to do so th- the next time someone in get that money from the central government you know it doesn't mean that they are not getting mm-hmm. one thing we should know mm-hmm. yeah, and we should you know, we should agree with the fact mm-hmm. gee when you if you have done economics I've mm-hmm. not done it but I have read it somehow because mm-hmm. a, economy mm-hmm. yeah it mm-hmm. can be affected mm-hmm. if there is a disaster mm-hmm. or there is things like epidemics mm-hmm. so when you are saying the government have failed mm-hmm. yeah we should not forget mm-hmm. you have got a global mm-hmm. epidemic mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. which have you can say it have imeharibu uchumi wa nchi zote dunia mzima that is the fact mm-hmm. no when you are telling me at the video, the, the narrative you are going to use or you are coming to come up with, mm-hmm. me what I know the devolution is working. Mm-hmm. And that's why you here now we are going f- we are going to move from fifteen percent mm-hmm. to thirty five percent, of which them they are fighting, mm-hmm. they are fighting it. Mm-hmm. And you can hear a house or a person saying that that if you are not getting fifteen, why are we mm-hmm. going to get thirty five? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a, <laughs> There is nothing like that, that because mm-hmm. Uhuru mm-hmm. have been giving 20%, mm-hmm. 25, you have given 25%, mm-hmm. even 30%. Mm-hmm. Amekuwa kipea? Mm-hmm. Amekuwa kipea na ya? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Simekuwa kipea na? No. <laughs> because there is a one time, mm-hmm. I remember very well Rokafogo mm-hmm. was saying they had gone for a seminar to Mombasa. Mm-hmm. He, was, he was saying that they have not got enough. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Then Ruto asked him, now you Kafogo, you are saying that you have not got enough. Mm-hmm. Can you look? Yeah? How mm-hmm. much you have given you? That time they had been given 18%. Mm-hmm. It is supposed to be, it's supposed to be 15%. Mm-hmm. So what we are saying is, mm-hmm. we are not saying that we cannot give that 5%. Mm-hmm. But, but can it be in constitution, mm-hmm. yeah? whereby even if somebody else will ever come, mm-hmm. you never, you never give beyond that 5%. Mm-hmm. Because in Kenya there is money. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. There is a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But these people, they will always come and tell us, hey, is we are not getting this, we have this, we have this. Mm-hmm. What I'm telling Nani, what I'm telling Donatia, mm-hmm. even if she is aspiring to be an MCA, mm-hmm. of which I wish her well, mm-hmm. now you are going to be a world representative. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You don't have anything yeah, to give to your people, only your salary. Yeah? But the BPI was advocating each and every world fund, mm-hmm. they'll be getting 5% mm-hmm. from the Devolution that is maybe almost 20 million. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she could have she could have done something mm-hmm. yeah, and help her people. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Just, just pardon from there. I want to come back to you about the bottom up economy because a lot Monangi is speaking about, is, is asking, where is this money that you people you are going to pump to that Wanjiku down coming from will come from? Thank you very much for that question. Yes. Like we, I just said, mm-hmm. in Kenya there is a lot of money. Okay. The problem is the trickle down mm-hmm. system. Mm-hmm. The moment mm-hmm. the money is given to those to the counties, mm-hmm. you find that before it gets to the Mwananchi, mm-hmm. there are so many processes. Now we Mwananchi wachini and nachoka kabla kufikia ile pesa, right? Mm-hmm. Like now we have the youth funds. Mm-hmm. I've been walking around. I even mm-hmm. went to the office of there youth and sports. Mm-hmm. To my surprise, mm-hmm. 
there was a youth week like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. To my surprise, in that office, nobody knew there was a youth week. Mm -hmm. So let me just put it like an example. What if the government released money for the youth, but mm -hmm. these youths didn't get the money? Where is the money? Mm -hmm. So I feel that the trickle-down thing mm -hmm. is not working because those people who are at the top mm -hmm. are not letting this money get to the youth mm -hmm. or even to the women. Mm -hmm. There is also the women fund. Mm -hmm. This women fund caters even for the men. Mm -hmm. You go, you are told, go make a group of 10 people, 20 people, go do the registration, come with minutes. You see, I mm -hmm. feel it's too tiresome mm -hmm. for the youth mm -hmm. and even the women because mm -hmm. these people you are telling to do the the registration mm -hmm. don't have money mm -hmm. and you are told you do a registration and then you'll be given the money the youth fund which is not for free mm -hmm. at the end of the day you'll have to get it with some mm -hmm. interest mm -hmm. so my thing is let's say we are 10 mm -hmm. we've done the registration mm -hmm. and we get a hundred thousand as mm -hmm. the youth we mm -hmm. didn't have work we are jobless yeah mm -hmm. we get a hundred thousand being 10 of us each and every person we get 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. Mm -hmm. This money, you come and utilize it mm -hmm. in a wise way. Sababu wezi pewa pesa kama ujuwe ni utaitumia. So let me say, you utilize this money, and you're told this money you're going to pay in one year's time. Mm -hmm. They are 100,000. So the 10 of us, mm -hmm. in every month, you're going to be having this money as mm -hmm. a kitty, ili ya kurudisha with the interest. Mm -hmm. Sindio? Mm -hmm. Nikifanya esabu yangu, nikuwa mm -hmm. naona, Let's say in a month, you are mm -hmm. able to make a profit of like 3,000. Mm -hmm. Na umiambiwa pale kwa mwezi moja, unarudisha na elfu moja. Mm -hmm. It's just an example. Eh? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, utakuwa na profit ya elfu ngapi? Mm -hmm. So if you are a wise person, you'll be able to save this money for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Na hapa hii pesa, the 10,000 una, inaka the profit ni like a monthly. That's just an example. Eh? Mm -hmm. So I feel that when given that chance, mm -hmm the youth, the women, the men, mm -hmm. can be able to access this money. Mm -hmm. The thing and the problem is how do we access this money? Mm -hmm. If you don't have someone to show you mm -hmm. where to go, mm -hmm. then it will be hard. Mm -hmm. Not that we don't have money in Kenya, mm -hmm. the money is there. Youth funds are mm -hmm. there. The money is released, yes. But haifiki what when you want to pesa. I feel that's a challenge okay. that we need to take up to. Mm -hmm. We don't have to, to charge the youth, the women, and the men, with all these the, uh, narratives of end of funny registration, do this. Mm -hmm. If it's the registration, let's have someone who will guide them. This is what you should do, and this mm -hmm. and this. But being on the ground, I've been there. The youth, the women know nothing. There are even mm -hmm. those who don't know that they are those fans, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So when you talk of the trickle down, I feel then there's some loopholes. There are some loopholes that are left open. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, uh, if I come back to you, this, uh, this statement that Kenyans are saying the country has already been fully zad. Kenya is fully So do you think that your system or your dynasty, if given opportunity to continue leading the country, the country will be, will be sold or it will be under the debt? Answering your question, mm -hmm. I will still go back to what I have told you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are the pandemic at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. giving an example, let's say maybe like two hundred, two million people mm -hmm. they were they were employed, mm -hmm. but they lost jobs. Mm -hmm. Those who are taxes they were paying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why is that money? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So saying about Frizad or whoever, mm -hmm. even if somebody who is there today, mm -hmm. let's say even if it's, maybe today is Ruto who is the president, mm -hmm. he could be doing the same. Because mm -hmm. the government thinks must learn. Mm -hmm. That's fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then rest, if it could be so bad that if Uruk have been going to get those funds mm -hmm. yeah, and he's be denied. Mm -hmm. yeah? But mm -hmm. those people giving him donors mm -hmm. and those donations mm -hmm. and those loans, mm -hmm. they are something they are realizing. Mm -hmm. When the country come back to mono to normal, mm -hmm. we'll be paying those things. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, what is being done we are seeing. Mm -hmm. And if you say we don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to answer her a question. Mm -hmm. She have talked about about that thing of was saying about that thing of yeah, funds. Or, or fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That thing you are going to give up according to the bottom ups. Mm -hmm. She should not forget that 
even if those funds are being given, they'll be given according to the constituency. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. You'll be given that 100 million, mm-hmm. say, saying, Ruto will give each and every constituency. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Coming to Kasarani, how many are we? We have 700 people. Yeah? All those youths, yeah? they will go yeah? and just have those loans. Mm-hmm. If they were all those nini, those no. businesses, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. business funds. Mm-hmm. When you define that, that money, that is why me, I'm saying, the BBA was coming to the focus for some things, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because Kasarani let's say it could have been divided maybe three times, mm-hmm. yeah. But mm-hmm. now Ruto is going to give that one hundred million, mm-hmm. yeah, to seven thousand people, seven hundred thousand people, of which everybody is going to get maybe five hundred shillings. What is he going to do with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is he going to do with it? So my, if my... we come here and say, mm-hmm. yeah, one thing we have to accept the fact that, and that is why I'm saying mm-hmm. we are overpopulated. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. That is why we are saying, let us address the problem. Mm-hmm. Because right now, BBA have failed. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And it's okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. But our problem solved. Mm-hmm. They have not solved. They are not to be solved. And they are not even going to be solved. They were going to be solved somehow. <laughs> because you are saying it's not, it's not going to be solved. Mm-hmm. If Kasarani was divided three times, mm-hmm. yeah? we could have been getting 400 million. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. But now we are going to stick with that 6 million. Mm-hmm. That is why people still, still, still sing. Mm-hmm. Yeah? They are getting 2,000 bursaries, mm-hmm. of which they are not enough. Mm-hmm. Like now, they are, everybody is against Masaka Kuya. Mm-hmm. Yeah? But mm-hmm. I'm happy because even last time, so mm-hmm. the one who was saying that we are giving batteries, we are not. No, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Like now, the, the now is there. Mm-hmm. That is why I'm saying there is a problem here. <laughs> and I want Indonesia to accept it. Mm-hmm. There is a problem here. We are overpopulated. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And once we are overpopulated, mm-hmm. when the resources are being shared, mm-hmm. it's not being considered. Mm-hmm. But that is the main problem. I would mm-hmm. feel that mm-hmm. even if we are overpopulated, there is no time that these ward funds or mm-hmm. the constituency funds, mm-hmm. if we are overpopulated. We should be given that money according to the population that we have. That is so not we, are adding, we don't have that to add. We, have we don't have to add mm-hmm. the constituencies, neither words. Mm-hmm. You just have to allocate the funds according to the people in that constituency. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's nothing because like there's that. no money that is going to get to be gotten from outside. When, in Parliament, mm-hmm. there is nothing like that in sharing mm-hmm. of revenue. The revenue is given according to constituencies. Mm-hmm. constituencies. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to say like we are many and where they go and are made it. Mm-hmm. And okay. that's okay. what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, okay. This one is coming it's more interesting. <laughs> let me let me twist a, a little bit again. Uh the hustle nation. Why hustle nation now? Because people people are asking the DP, the, the chief hustler, the DP, the current DP, has been in the government. For ten years now, and okay. what it, for, for almost ten what? years for, <laughs> has been the DP for ten years, yeah. the deputy president for mm-hmm. ten years, and uh, what has he not done he not been in the government that he can that he is promising Kenyans to do to okay. do for next time on ten. behalf of our DP. Mm-hmm. All I know is mm-hmm. he has been in government for mm-hmm. the past like four years. Yes. So, is it in Guinea Hajakua? Mm-hmm. But that is, he has been sidelined. Mm-hmm. The same case happens like mm-hmm. I have an idea mm-hmm. and you are working with you. Mm-hmm. I sell to you my idea mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. at the long way, some geeks comes and gets in. Mm-hmm. So, what do I do? Mm-hmm. I sold you my ideas. Mm-hmm. It's either you use them or mm-hmm. I use them because mm-hmm. they were my ideas. Mm-hmm. So, the moment you come, and join hands with some geeks. Mm-hmm. Then it says that you do what we, I told you, mm-hmm. the ideas I gave you. All he brings his own ideas, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I feel that the DP was with the president mm-hmm. and they were working together. Mm-hmm. And they even had the, four, the big four agendas. Mm-hmm. But along the way, mm-hmm. the handshake came. Mm-hmm. And this handshake, mm-hmm. it didn't talk away for, for us. Um, mm-hmm. For some of us, and even the DP. Mm-hmm. So what happened is, kulipata ile laini. Even in the family, that's how it is. The moment you see things are not working right, kuna kuwa na ile utengano, sindio? So the DP and the president parted ways in mm-hmm. one way or the other. Because this DP feels he has mm-hmm. been sidelined, mm-hmm. and now the the former mm-hmm. Prime Minister is mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. but now the thing is they have not been able to 
articulate mm -hmm. the issues that the DP had mm -hmm. because I have a vision. Mm -hmm. It's only me who can carry the vision. Mm -hmm. So I have sold you the idea mm -hmm. of my vision, mm -hmm. but the vision is not yours. Mm -hmm. So it's me, like mm -hmm. the person to deliver what the vision has. Okay, let me let me ask both of you or both of your question. You were in a, in last general election. Both of you were aligned together under the Jubilee umbrella, but now the you are the you you dear the Hustle Nation mm. Dynasty Nation. Who betrayed who? Who it's betrayed who? There's nothing like betraying. Mm -hmm. Because what Uhuru was doing, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. you know, his, his time is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. And he wanted to leave a Kenya United. Mm -hmm. You cannot say you are bringing a Kenya United mm -hmm. and you are still calling other people's waganga. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's true. Mm -hmm. The reason the, what Uhuru was going when he was reaching Laida mm -hmm. is for peace. Mm -hmm. yeah, of this country because the country have to continue. Mm -hmm. People will come and go, but mm -hmm. the country will continue. Mm -hmm. Will continue. Mm -hmm. And going back to Indonesia, saying that at he Ruto was a giant. Mm -hmm. Ruto, Ruto even even who told us when mm -hmm. they was in bombers, mm -hmm. yeah, Ruto bring around four people mm -hmm. to structure about because Hadisek brought the BBI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Ruto was aware of everything what who was doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the people, our people, the peoples around Ruto, mm -hmm. they started telling him, you see, Uru is bringing Raya so that mm -hmm. you take over. You take over. Mm -hmm. So people started poisoning Ruto's mind, mm -hmm. of which they believe and can lie you today and tell you tomorrow, you start seeing things. Mm -hmm. Ruto himself sidrained himself from the government. Mm -hmm. He's the one who sidrained himself. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is why I'm saying you. Mm -hmm. All these things mm -hmm. yeah, is, is just a matter of winning election. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, to, even if you come and tell me that there's dynasty or whatever we are discussing, I don't want to move out from the question you have asked me. About Nini, you have asked me about betrayal. The betrayal. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like betrayal. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because if there's somebody who had so much trust, mm -hmm. Yeah, with the Ruto, mm -hmm. yeah, as you mm -hmm. remember the time he was going for to Hague, mm -hmm. he left the presidency to deputy, the deputy. The deputy. Yes. So they had that trust. Mm -hmm. yeah? But whatever happened, mm -hmm. Uhuru said mm -hmm. he will come and tell us what mm -hmm. happened. Okay, and okay, just pardon. Let me let, let her ask. He has said that there was nothing like patrol. It was the deputy president who sidelined himself from the government. What is your perception? My, per my perception is contrary to his because mm -hmm. I don't see the reason as to why we are working together mm -hmm. in the same office, mm -hmm. I'm your junior, mm -hmm. and then when it comes to matters of the office, mm -hmm. you get someone else to come and do them, mm -hmm. and it's only me and you who is there. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be told, get out mm -hmm. for you to go. Mm -hmm. It's just, just those small, small actions mm -hmm. that are done that will make you move. Mm -hmm. And instead of being embarrassed in front of people, mm -hmm. you just better coil and mm -hmm. move on, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel that there was some misconception maybe. Mm -hmm. And like you said, we were to be told what transpired between the president and the deputy president, of mm -hmm. which up to date, Atuja mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all, all, <laughs> all I know is, mm -hmm. even if there was something that triggered their their separation. Mm -hmm. It's only them who knows. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And if there was that, the handshake, mm -hmm. the handshake was for the benefit of someone. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and that's why you find that the DP now said, let me carry on with my vision. And now that's how he came up with the bottom-up issue. Because he had the vision, it's mm -hmm. him who carries the vision. <laughs> okay. And nobody can articulate his vision for just, us. Just because of time, I would like to ask you just one question, one more question about the DP. Do you think it is time the DP should take a bold bold decision and do what the, the other uh, vice president, head Jaramongo Gingo Dinga, who resigned just because he was sidelined by the president? Do you think that it was the time the DP should take a bold decision and walk out of the government? It's not for him to resign mm -hmm. because this is to Chagua. Mm -hmm. And they were elected in line with the president. Mm -hmm. So it's not his mandate to resign. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, maybe if uh, we just sum up the, what's your last comment to the Monaichi? 
but I wanted to ask her something. <laughs> she have said about the DP, <laughs> the, 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 the relationship, eh? <laughs> the bad relationship between Uhuru the bad and there. <laughs> eh? <laughs> it's about corruption. <laughs> because if you look all the dockets, <laughs> eh? because Uhuru came up with the, in his docket, <laughs> if you go to the something like agriculture, <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> and the finance. <laughs> Even if you can see all the, those years, <laughs> they were not there. They were removed because of they were removed because of the name, because of because of corruption. Yeah? corruption. And when the hardship came, <laughs> yeah, Uhuru realized many things that were happening <laughs> in the government of which he was not knowing. <laughs> yeah? He had so much trust <laughs> with Ruto. <laughs> yeah? But after hard shake, hata kama ni wewe tumekuwa tu na urafiki na kuna vitu unafanyanga huko. Kweli? It's true. That's all the fact. I feel that. No. I feel that you don't have to be like you are the moment there is some mistrust. Mm-hmm. Even in the let's say in the business mm-hmm. and you are working with you, you'll always see the negative part of me, right? Mm-hmm. So, not that there is no corruption. Mm-hmm. Corruption is there in Kenya. Mm-hmm. And who is the head of the country? The so who, then who is the head of corruption? <laughs> There's no head of corruption okay. because yes. I feel that I feel that if the president is the head the head of the country, he should be responsible. Why is that corruption happening? If I can ask a question, so, mm-hmm. let me ask you a question. Okay. I'm not moving out from the Nini. If you see that somebody like Kashagua mm-hmm. yeah, is being told he's corrupt, mm-hmm. he's in which camp? Not till, Seeing no, like what no, 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 yesterday, no, no. he is corrupt. Even the rule of root is mm-hmm. corrupt. He's in Hassan Nation. Mm-hmm. Even Songo had gone there. Mm-hmm. Eh? Why is Ruto Ero coming all these people? Mm-hmm. Not about that. No, How is he going to I'll, not, I'll not talk about corruption because everybody is corrupt. Even mm-hmm. you, you are corrupt. In your mm-hmm. own way, you mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to blame that DP is accepting these corrupt people. No. Mm-hmm. It's not that he's accepting them. Mm-hmm. But I... I, okay, let me just say that the president should be responsible because it's him mm-hmm. who gives that mandate to these people, to the CSS. It's mm-hmm. not DP. Mm-hmm. And if they are, yeah, then they should both be responsible for the corruption. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Because of time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was the, this is Politics 101 and it, Politics 101, it's brought to you courtesy of Quay to Launch. If you're looking for somewhere to enjoy yourself, then Kwetu Lounge is a place and a comfy place for you. You can book for rooms to sleep. You can come and have a drink at Kwetu Lounge. All these things that you are saying, you are seeing here, it is courtesy of Kwetu Lounge. And before I sum up, I had I had I had kept five minutes for you for the MCA, the aspirant MCA, so that you can like for you as aspiring MCA, what is your agenda for the people of Kasarani? Thank you very much for that time. I feel that my word, that is the Kasarani word, being an aspirant, I've been here for long, Mm -hmm. and I feel that there are some things that are not done like I would wish them to be done. Mm -hmm. So I feel that being a young lady Mm -hmm. who is ambitious, who is Mm -hmm. a leader, we have a difference between a leader and a politician. Mm-hmm. A leader is someone who can be able to articulate and mm-hmm. maybe bring things that are genuine to the people. Mm-hmm. A politician is someone who just come and say, I'll do this, I'll do this, and at the end of the day, doesn't mm-hmm. do them. Mm-hmm. For me, I have Kasarani word at heart mm-hmm. because that's where I am. Mm-hmm. And I feel that first, there are some places without Siwa. Mm-hmm. That would be my first thing to look on. Mm-hmm. And then there's a lot of insecurity in the ward. Mm-hmm. Third, there are those feeder roads and even the feeder roads, yes, and even the street lights. Those mm-hmm. are some of the things that we shall look at. Mm-hmm. And also education. Mm-hmm. Education is very key. Mm-hmm. We were just saying here that someone is given a, a bursary of 2000 mm-hmm. But I feel that that money, as much as it's being allocated like with the population, Mm-hmm. I feel you better give someone mm-hmm. 5,000, mm-hmm. you give like 10 people mm-hmm. in the very first lot, mm-hmm. come another lot, give other 10, mm-hmm. instead of giving a whole place 2,000, mm-hmm. like now it's just an example, the 2,000 bursary. Mm-hmm. So if we look at education in a bigger way, mm-hmm. then I feel that in Kasarani we'll move forward.
and I I have Castellani at heart. Okay. So for just uh, a firm like what is the app what is your new approach because we have seen most of politician coming up telling us that when elected they will handle security because currently the the issue of insecurity is broad is affecting the kasarani world people what is your approach the very first thing is what causes insecurity mm -hmm. in the very first thing i know is it's because the youth are jobless. Mm -hmm. So if these people are kept busy, mm -hmm. they'll not have that time to be idle. Mm -hmm. They'll be engaging themselves in, in uh, activities that are generating mm -hmm. or activities that are keeping them busy. Mm -hmm. So you'll have that. But when you think about it, you already have already made your money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Before I just sum up the interview today, Echo TV is organizing for Kasarani Word debate. Will you attend the debate? I will attend. Okay. Thank you, uh, viewers. I want to thank you, our guest. We've been having a wonderful, we've been having wonderful guest, the Sam Giggs, who has been our political analyst under the side of the dynasty. We have been a very wonderful uh MC aspiring MCA internet Donesia Kasarani word. It has been a wonderful, wonderful talk and wonderful show. People, we are just wishing to keep locked to Echo TV and we are going to bring you wonderful and different leaders, different political analysts, only and exclusively to on Echo TV Kenya. Remember, this show is only is brought to you by Kwetu Launch. And if you are looking for a place to host, a place to a conference, a place to, day, to dine, a place to sleep, then here is a place and a comfy place for you and your family and friends. Thank you very much. See you next time. Goodbye. Hmm? <laughs> Asante, thank you for coming. This is Echo TV, Kenya.